hi guys, it's me Mackenzie. And today is day three of Mental Health Awareness Week. And if you didn't see my first video, it was um, the science behind being kind. And my second video was kind things you can do for your family. Um, go check them out. <laughs> this video will be redefining self-care. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what self-care is um, and how anything really can be self-care. And I also have a bunch of um, examples of what you can do to help improve your well-being. So self-care is commonly known and associated with having a bath, uh, relaxing, binge watching Netflix, and those all can be used as forms of self-care. However, um, anything really can be self-care. So like doing your homework, cleaning your room, maybe stuff that aren't as enjoyable and as relaxing as having a bath. However, it is still self-care because you're improving your well-being for after you perform the activity. Say for example, you're, you're already stressed out about your schoolwork. If you actually give yourself time to do the schoolwork, then afterwards you'll be less stressed and therefore your well-being will be better. So therefore it is a form of self-care. So self-care is kind of taking everything that you need to do like essentially um, to say having like cleaning yourself having good hygiene um, like getting ready getting dressed so you can take things like improving your hygiene so maybe like having a shower um, so stuff you have to do you have to clean yourself so maybe having a nice bath lighting a candle getting like a cup of tea um, getting a book, taking your time, more relaxing. Also getting dressed, you can like maybe do up your makeup, um, wear something that you feel more comfortable in. So you know, things that you can do to help improve the, like, the way you feel. I'm gonna give some examples of things you can do as a form of self-care. So I'm gonna explain why they are a good form of self-care as well. These are more physical things, um, so like maybe going to bed early, waking up earlier, working out, going for a run. So these are more things that are physical, more for your physical um, health. These activities also help increase the release of, of endorphins in your body. And endorphins, as I said in my first video, are like um, a hormone that helps you with pain, like emotional pain, physical pain, and it makes you happier as well. Um, also, if you wake up early, and work out you'll be more motivated and then maybe more motivated to do stuff that you don't really want to do so like school work going to work maybe now there's more productive things you can do so maybe clean your room um, I like to clean my room every night before I go to bed just so I wake up and then it's nice and clean I also uh, make my bed every day in the morning so when I go to bed it's nice and clean and then, you know I'm not thinking about it all the like all day I'm more I'm less stressed about it um, and I know where everything is it's all organized also making to do lists. Um, just taking maybe 10 minutes out of your morning or your night planning the next day I like to do this I love making to do lists. I make so many to do lists. Um, also organizing your things so actually on my 17th birthday <laughs> I was organizing all my revision because I just love organizing and just kind of putting things where they should be um, I was going through all my revision as well so maybe I'll do like a how I organize my revision because <laughs> I, I love organizing stuff so much I don't know why so do your homework so it's it's kind of like the philosophy not philosophy the mindset of if I do it now future me will thank me instead of oh I don't need to do it now I'll just do it in the future but then when you're in the future and you have less time to do it you're more stressed and you're more mm. like angry at yourself like oh why didn't I just do this earlier now I'm going to say more like relaxing things you could do um so you could do your skincare routine take care of your physical well physical appearance mm. um I love doing my skincare routine like every day because I just love like actually cleaning my skin read a book I also had did a video of books I can finally read now that it's lockdown and I'm so happy um, I have more time now to read because 
like my exams would have started this week so I wouldn't have, have had any time to do anything that I wanted to do but now I can read I'm looking over here because my bookshelf is there um, but yeah I'm still not reading that much because Netflix is a thing I like reading and I kind of feel proud of myself when I read and like when you finish a book you feel so proud of yourself and more motivated also you can meditate so meditation I've tried to get into so much but I think I just do it at the wrong time I tried to do it like before I go to bed and then I tried to do it after school that definitely didn't work so maybe I'll try doing it in the morning so kind of to wake me up you could also listen to like a podcast or a TED talk so this is kind of similar to watching Netflix or YouTube however it's I see it as more productive and more educational um, there's also a series on Netflix that's I forgot what it's called I'll put it in here but it's like um, a psychology series but I also listen to podcasts a podcast that I recommend for psychology and like mental health is popcorn psychology on Spotify so basically they go through like really popular movies and then they talk about um, like the main characters and what the mental health state they think is like or how they would treat them if they came to them as a therapist you could also um, do some more artistic things um, so you can journal I don't really journal I just yeah I don't really journal I never really got gotten into it I kind of do journaling on YouTube how I just kind of like a video diary so that's what I kind of do um, I love scrapbooking so I've actually made a scrapbook for 2020 no 2018 summer so that was a summer after my GCSEs um, so that was one of the longest summers I've ever had and I wanted to do one for 2020 um, because this is after my A-levels however lockdowns happened so it's going to be more a sixth form scrapbook so I'm excited to do that I put some stickers, washi tape just taking some time looking through your photos or your memories and stuff I'm really excited to do that um, also you could do some art maybe do drawing, painting during lockdown I've started a a 30 day drawing challenge which is this and I've been doing TikToks on it so I've done some drawings and stuff uh, oh little stitch um, so you can just you can do 30 day drawing challenge or you can just do doodles um, or if you're an actual artist make some art yeah just express yourself through drawing you could do dances um, I always found when I was going to dance class that dancing made me like feel like I'm expressing myself more and made me feel like free um, so obviously people can't go to dance class but if you have like a garden or like a big space you could do TikTok dances <laughs> or just dance around in your bedroom like um, just put on some good music and just jam out you know also if you want to do your makeup you could do your makeup um, like I sometimes do it if I feel a bit groggy and I don't feel very pretty, I do my makeup. Um, so I just feel a bit of a confidence boost, like internally. Also, like hang out with your family and hang out with the people like in your household, because there's not that many times where you're allowed to stay at home and not feel guilty about not going out and not doing stuff. So, like, have fun with your family. Um, maybe play some board games, watch some movies because I always feel really relaxed when I'm with my family um, yeah I feel like we bonded a lot during lockdown and I really like it we've been going on so many walks so these were my ideas of some self care things you can do also um, there was a little thing that I saw in Emma's video I'll put her video here like just explaining well being and self care um, and life and everything like that. yeah so I'll be kind of copying that just to show you guys because I wanted to put it in the video but that would be copyrighted so I'm just gonna uh, redo it because I really like the way she did it and the way she explained it like it made a lot of sense so I'm just gonna be redoing that okay so imagine this is your depleted energy this is your self-care and this is your well-being so I put a sticker here, so the water should never go below the line. So this is what you should always be. Well-being and pour it into the depleted energy. And then the more times you do it, so maybe if you study for an exam or if you stay up late or whatever, 
But with the depleted energy, you always take from the well-being cup. So then you refill it with your self-care cup. And then you put it again to the depleted energy. And how you can see it going down. The less times you self-care, then the more times well-being will go down as your depleted energy increases. But if you self-care more regularly and it goes above the line then you have more to put into your depleted energy and it won't go below the line do you see that so your well-being will still be healthy enough to correspond to the depleted energy does that make sense so thank you for watching the video i really hope you enjoyed and yeah definitely try and do something uh, for yourself so care for yourself be nice to yourself as well because I showed uh, things you can do that's kind to your family but make sure to be kind to yourself as well especially in these times so yeah thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video bye Dancing in the moonlight.